Congratulations. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I didn't expect to be stood here this evening. <laughs> nice to see you all. Joanne, when you accepted, you talked about the responsibility of this role. Can you talk <clears throat> about what you did to prepare and how it felt for you emotionally to play this very difficult uh, material? Yeah, of course. Um, I, you know, I've... I've it, it was fortunate that previously in my career I, I've played roles of, you know, that have centred around a very sensitive subject matter before. And, and in all of those situations, I've always felt the same emotion when I first found out about the storyline that this is a big responsibility because, yes, it's a fictional character, but at the same time, you know, there may be people watching at home that have been through similar experiences. And my worst fear as an actress would be uh, for those people to, to watch something I do and feel that it, that it wasn't honest. Um, and that I, that I hadn't worked my hardest. Um, so that's the sort of mindset I go into something like that with, which um, I think is actually quite a positive thing. I think it's a good thing to be challenged, and I think everybody works better under that little bit of, of pressure. Um, so, yeah, you know, I did feel this huge responsibility, and um, you know, I did a lot of research into uh, victims of rape, but also uh, to do with women in that time period and what it would have meant. Because my first reaction when I read the story was, I, I really want her to tell Bates. I really want her to tell her husband what she's been through. And, um, you know, I had a long chat with our historical advisor, uh, advisor, Alistair Bruce, who explained to me, you know, again, to remember the time period we're in and remember that women, excuse me, of a working class background didn't really have any rights their rights were based on their reputation. If they lose their reputation, they lose everything. They lose their career, they lose their family, they lose their position, they lose their job. Um, so it was also getting my head around what it meant for a working class woman in, in those times in the 1920s. Thank you. Hi, uh, Joanne. Hi. Um, hi. I wanted to ask, <laughs> you, you seem to allude to um, when you, in your acceptance speech, someone who inspired you, who reached out to you, um, related to the storyline you were just talking about. Could you tell us some more about this person and, and, and how they inspired you? Oh, well, I was actually uh, speaking about a, a lady that wrote to me who is a survivor of rape after the, the storyline aired. Um, a, a lady I've never met, and I was, I was you know, um, honored to re receive a small number of letters from women that, that have been survivors of rape. And um, as I said, this one woman summed up the feelings of all the letters very succinct, succinctly by saying that she felt, you know, she just wanted to be heard, be heard in some way, and that's why she wrote to me, and, and she felt that um, she connected with, with my character's journey, and um, that they are probably the most special letters I've ever received in my life, you know, so it's, it's, it's incredibly touching for me to feel um, like these women were able to be so candid with me, and um, and trust me with their stories. So, you know, that, that makes... Uh, it, it's, it's something very different and something, you know, very re removed and extra from what I usually do for a living, you know. Hi. Hi. Um, tell us about a little bit of the faith of Anna right now because she's been through a lot. We all suffer a lot with her. Yeah. And she had a silver lining. Yes. This last episode. But should we expect to see a little bit of happiness in her, her and Bates' life? Well, yeah, I think, obviously, uh, I know uh, the first episode of season five aired in the States on Sunday last week, and certainly Anna and Bates start season five in a, in a period of more positivity. In terms of uh, time scale, there's been a year between Anna's attack and where we, we pick them up in season five. So they're, they're trying to heal, and they're trying to find that space to move forward with their lives. Um, but of course, you know, it, it's not going to disappear what's happened to her, what's happened to their relationship. So um, it is, you know, an ongoing journey. And the subject of Mr. Green is, is brought back to them, unfortunately. And it's something they, they can't really move away from. So it, it does, you know, it does span out through, through season five as well, which I think is fitting because it's, it's, you know, it's not an incident that can happen and then, you know, everything's fine. It, it, it's something that's going to stay with you for life, and it, it is something that will stay with them for life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good evening.